Get ready for an entertainment roller coaster as we delve into the latest and greatest in the world of movies and series. From the enchanting backstory of Mufasa, the Lion King, to the electrifying return of Bullseye and Daredevil, Born Again, Marvel's wild multiverse ride in What If, Season 3, and the thrilling prospect of a new Jurassic World adventure. The silver screen is buzzing with excitement. Not to mention, the vigilante world of Kick-Ass is gearing up for a reboot trilogy, and the suspenseful return of Squid Game Season 2 promises to keep us glued to our screens in 2024. Buckle up for a cinematic odyssey that spans genres and universes. The stage is set for an epic year in entertainment. Prepare for a return to the heart-pounding world of Squid Game, where red light and green light take on a new dimension. The eagerly awaited second season of the South Korean sensation is not pulling any punches, as Netflix confirms its imminent premiere later this year. Hwang Dong-hyuk, the mastermind behind the survival drama that gripped the globe, is gearing up for another round of thrilling challenges. As we await the precise date, the good news is that the survival-themed K-drama is slated for release by year-end, sparking speculation about a magical September return akin to the first season. Launched in 2021, Squid Game became an unparalleled hit, snagging a whopping 14 Emmy nominations, including a groundbreaking nod for Best Drama Series in a non-English language. The show made history at the 2022 Screen Actors Guild Awards, securing nominations for cast, actor Lee Jong-jae, actress Jung ho Yun, and stunt ensemble, a testament to its global impact. The drama also clinched three Golden Globe Awards, including the prestigious Best TV Drama. Amidst months of speculation about a second season, Netflix quelled the suspense in January 2022, confirming the show's return. Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos, in an analyst call, emphatically stated, Absolutely. The Squid Game universe has just begun. Get ready for another adrenaline-fueled journey as the Squid Game phenomenon continues to captivate audiences worldwide. Get ready to roar with excitement, because Disney is unleashing a prequel that will take us on a wild adventure, before Simba even knew what a Hakuna Matata was. Remember Mufasa, the wise and majestic king and the Lion King? Well, hold on to your mates, because his untold tale is hitting the big screen in Mufasa the Lion King. In this feline frenzy, we dive into the possum backstory of young Mufasa, who, thanks to a flood, finds himself in a sticky situation, separated from his folks. But fear not, our furry hero is rescued by none other than a lion cub named Taka. Cue the beginning of a bromance that rivals Timon and Pumbaa. As the duo grows up, they face lion-sized challenges, including a gang of unruly lions that force them to go on the ultimate road trip. It doesn't end there. Mufasa the Lion King isn't just a tale of friendship, it's the main event as we witness the transformation of Taka into the infamous Scar, drawing inspiration from the 1994 classic, A Tale of Two Brothers. Directed by the brilliant Barry Jenkins, this roaring prequel is set to dazzle screens on December 20th, 2024. Will it live up to the roaring expectations of fans? We can't wait to find out. Prepare for a catastic journey that's bound to have you chanting Long live the king! Marvel Studios has just given us a sneak peek into the mind-bending world of the third season of What If. Just a month after the second season hit Disney+, Plus, we're already getting a taste of the wild concepts the Watcher will explore across the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Get ready to welcome some fresh faces to the animated scene. Sam Wilson's Captain America and the Red Guardian are set to make their debuts in the series. In a mind-boggling twist, new images reveal Sam Wilson standing side-by-side -side with Monica Rambeau. The question on everyone's mind, what perilous mission awaits this dynamic duo? Sam, having donned the Captain America mantle after the post-Endgame and Falcon and the Winter Soldier events, is no stranger to facing challenges. But in this alternate reality, under the Watcher's watchful gaze, who knows what twists and turns await our heroes? While the second season of What If is still fresh in our minds, it looks like we'll have to buckle up and wait a bit for the return of The Watcher and Captain Carter. The eagerly anticipated release date for season 3 of What If remains a mystery, keeping fans in suspense. Nonetheless, insiders hint at a mind-bending unveiling by the end of 2024 or the beginning of 2025. The Spider-Verse is in for a wild ride! 
Rumor has it that Sony Pictures and Marvel Studios are spinning their own webs of ideas for Tom Holland's Spider-Man after the triumph of 2021's Spider-Man No Way Home. According to the web slinger whisperer, Daniel Richtman, Sony is eyeing a colossal multiverse escapade for Spider-Man 4, aiming to recreate the box office wizardry of No Way Home. They're even contemplating a Spidey reunion with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, adding a dash of nostalgia to Holland's wall crawler world. But wait, there's a plot twist. Marvel Studios head honcho Kevin Feige and Holland are swinging towards a grounded approach for Spider-Man 4, channeling the spirit of the trilogy's first two entries. It's a clash of creative titans, and only time will tell which vision will swing to victory. In Richtman's cinematic crystal ball, the iconic Wilson Fisk, Kingpin, is slated to make a grand entrance in Spider-Man 4, but the return of Vincent D'Onofrio is still up in the air. D'Onofrio himself spilled the beans, mentioning that Marvel hasn't given him a superhero call yet. As we swing into February 2024, the release date for Spider-Man 4 remains cloaked in mystery, but the grapevine is buzzing with hints of a spectacular 2025 unveiling. Get ready for a cinematic roller coaster where Spider-Man's fate hangs in the balance, and the only certainty is the promise of a sensational Spidey spectacle. Hold on to your superhero capes, because the MCU is about to get a lot more devilish with the return of a major Daredevil villain in Daredevil Born Again. As phases 4 and 5 unfold, the crossover magic is weaving Netflix's Marvel shows seamlessly into the MCU's main timeline. Brace yourselves as Charlie Cox's Daredevil and Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin step out of the gritty streets and into the limelight alongside heavyweights like She-Hulk and Hawkeye. But that's not all, folks. John Bernthal's Punisher is making a comeback, and he's not alone. The rumor mill is buzzing with whispers that Daredevil's universe is expanding, with familiar faces like Foggy Nelson and Karen Page joining the reunion party in Daredevil Born Again. Wilson Bethel's Benjamin Poindexter, last seen on the operating table after Kingpin's spine-crushing antics in Daredevil Season 3, is also slated to join the MCU fun. Brace yourselves for the birth of Bullseye, complete with the iconic costume and a thirst for revenge against Daredevil and Kingpin. Bullseye might not just be aiming for vengeance. Rumor has it he could be eyeing a spot as a founding member of an infamous supervillain team in the MCU. Daredevil Born Again premiere is expected in 2025, although a specific release date has not been set. Get ready for the ultimate showdown as Daredevil faces not only his nemesis, but a potential Evil Avengers team member. Universal Pictures is unleashing a dynamite surprise for Jurassic enthusiasts. Just two years after the prehistoric spectacle of Jurassic World Dominion, the studio is cooking up a brand new installment. And guess who's back at the keyboard? None other than David Cope, the maestro behind the iconic 1993 Jurassic Park and its thrilling sequel, The Lost World. This dino-sized project has been slightly sneaking under our radar. But fear not, it's no fossil. The script is shaping up to be a roaring success, and rumor has it that a 2025 release date is being whispered across the studio lots. While there's no director yet, the seasoned producer Frank Marshall, the brains behind the Jurassic World trilogy, is back in action, joined by Jurassic veteran Patrick Crowley. And of course, the legendary Spielberg is flexing his executive producer muscles via Amblin Entertainment. This relaunch promises a new Jurassic era with an all-new storyline, waving goodbye to the familiar faces of Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. As for the OG Jurassic Park trio, Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum, they might be sitting this one out. The fact that it's labeled a new Jurassic World instead of Jurassic Park hints at a journey to uncharted territories, promising a prehistoric adventure that's anything but basic. Hold tightly to your wizard hats, muggles, because the magical world of Harry Potter is expanding on our screens. Warner Brothers Discovery is weaving its magic with plans for a TV show adaptation, covering all seven books on the Max streaming service, set to premiere in 2025 to 2026. But that's not the only trick up their sleeves. In a spellbinding update, Deadline reveals that Max is not just stopping at one Hogwarts adventure. They're toying with the enchanting idea of multiple shows based on the wizarding world. The project is still in its infancy, with no casting or plot details revealed. 
but a group of talented writers, including Martha Hillier, Kathleen Jordan, Tom Morin, and Michael Leslie, are conjuring up their pitches for potential spin-offs. As the magical cauldron bubbles with creativity, it's emphasized that it's early days and more than one writer might get a piece of the magical pie. While the specific spin-off plots are shrouded in mystery, a glimpse at the writer's past credits promises a potion of intriguing possibilities. The goal? Lift the initial adaptation off its broomstick and explore which characters could fly solo in their own enchanting shows. Get ready to hop on the Hogwarts Express, because the highly anticipated series promises a wizarding world experience that'll have a shouting Akio remote. Gear up for a turbocharged return to the kick-ass universe as director Matthew Vaughn reveals all the juicy details on the highly anticipated next installment. The burning question, will it be Kick-Ass 3 or a reboot? Vaughn, known for his Kingsman magic, tantalizingly hinted at both during an interview with Collider's Steven Weintraub, offering a sneak peek into the project's current status. In a shocking twist that could only come from Vaughn's creative mind, he unveiled, we're halfway through it. There's a very, very dare I say it, and it's gonna be a cliche coming out of this head of mine. It's a very, very meta universe. It is what, you know, Kick-Ass was reinventing and creating an R-rated superhero, and no one was really doing it. This is taking that whole concept to a worthy, not even a sequel, because I think it's just a whole new way of doing Kick-Ass, which couldn't be more Kick-Ass. Hold on to your capes, because the excitement doesn't end there. Vaughn spills the beans on a trilogy that kicks off with School Fight, an action-packed movie already shot and done. Following that, there's the enigmatic VRAM, currently in production, and the grand finale Kick-Ass. To everyone's disappointment, Vaughn has still left fans in suspense with no mention of a cast, story, or even a production timeline for the first film's release. Which upcoming movie or series has you on the edge of your seat, eagerly awaiting its release? Let me know in the comments, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.